International Women's Day, Mama G, the Gammon of the Maroon community. On this International Women's Day, I call upon you, Gammon, to call the peace between Jamaicans and Maroons. Call the peace, Gammon. Call the peace, Gammon, between Jamaicans and Maroons. Call the peace, International Women's Day. Then I have to stand up back and no man. I ask no man no question. We are man. Take care of your health. Your health and your wealth. Yeah? Your health and your wealth. Take care of your health. Your health and your wealth. On this International Women's Day. Mama G. The gammon of the maroon community. Call the peace, man. Can we get louder with the cry now? We're gonna start drop details next. We're gonna start explain why we are called these names next. So it's International Women's Day. Where we are do Jamaica no man. Sit down back on no man saying we are wait for justice. I wanna go stand up with the home where we have on to push out the wall of them out of the home there. <laughs> Get up from back on no man, Jamaica no man. That's such a sweet mountain range. So amazing. But on this International Woman Day, Mama G, the Maroon Gammon, call the peace the right way, Mama. As a Muta Baruka say, call the council, Mama. International Woman Day for who? What kind of woman you be? Jamaica was influencing the world before slavery. This island, Jamaica, was influencing the world before slavery. So we are at a crossroads with the two Jamaica that was created. Free Jamaica, enslaved Jamaica. Everything we are enemy now. Join forces together against free Jamaica. And the plan is to enslave free Jamaica. Let me talk about PNP government. Now called opposition. Do you guys remember when I went to the Grand Gala? At the beginning of the great conversation. When they was really stepping up the campaign to change Jamaica into the new Jamaica. 
someone on the island to look up. Yeah, that video there. The next thing is, um, when I went to the Grand Gala, Lisa Anna, I'm still respecting. She came out and she said that she regretted putting me on the show. Remember, all I was asking for was for the morals of Jamaica to be kept in place. The cultural beliefs of Jamaica. Yeah. And then the campaign started against being Africa. To say all the things that are said. PNP government brought Jamaica to the door of the devil and Andrew Olness, our prime minister, handed us over. Hence for the reason why you're having this blame game of who did what. So it lead me to come back to Richard, Buju, Muta, Kabu, Bird Samuels. These are people who can give you a full overstanding and to Jamaica them. Hence the Jamaica and the free Jamaica. But what we see happening, instead of us coming together to defend Jamaican people, everybody went silent and is cutting deals left, right, and center. And these are deals that are going to leave Jamaica people behind and make Jamaica people the new slaves of the new world. Because everything that is done here in Jamaica is emulated worldwide. But the world can't change if Jamaica don't change. And Jamaica people are asking questions as to what we really are do. Why we know how we change from too. And so when we are asked for the warriors then who was on the front line from the beginning, or is it that all the artists and influencers and politicians that have been ruling and standing up over Jamaicans all this time. Is it that they are maroons? Is it that they are the offsprings of the maroons that sold us out? Because over the years we noticed that every artist that comes along to teach black people to unite, to say, don't the war between black and black. These artists are killed, pushed back, mocked, jeered, discouraged, called mad people. But we notice that all the artists, all the politicians, all the influencers of society that push a certain kind of dirty lifestyle, a certain type of behavior, like for example, alcoholism that is taking over all our children in Jamaica. These people are larded, they are promoted, they are bigged up. Everybody think that they are the ones who we all need to be listening to. So here we are in 2023 when they have to make a decision as to what they're going to do about Jamaica people because even though a great majority of Jamaica people are killed off themselves, the greater majority, the silent majority is asking what is happening and they are not really showing up their faces because as we say, 
this war is not an overnight war. Also, Mama G, who was appointed as the Gammon, the Gammon in the Maroon community is the one that who is supposed to call the peace. Them have her call one little lame peace. The other day, I said she had forgive. She had asked for forgiveness and asked for the war to cease. But in order for the war to cease, the Maroon communities them have to unite and come together and call the official peace between the free black people them where they come to Jamaica come see and the enslaved black people them who join with the colonizers against we down here. And there's a lot of people down here that know the truth and is not saying it and is allowing Jamaican people to kill out themselves. And then when Jamaica people don't kill out themselves, who left, then turn them in a slave and, 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 and turn them in a guinea pigs and use us for show the rest of the world how you subdue people and turn them in a subjects. So Jamaica people, you have the biggest role to play in terms of positioning yourself in this new world, in this new Jamaica that they're all creating. Are you going to leave God behind or are you going to take God with you into the future? And in order to do that, you have to start standing up for yourself now. You can't stand up with no agenda. You can't stand up with no age. You have to stand up in a one peace, one love, one aim, one destiny, one people, one Jamaica. Pay attention to the tricks then because they're going to start and veil even more fully now going into the rest of this year and beyond. Stop take people like we for eat that and say we don't know what we are saying and start looking to where we are saying look on why them hiding so much things behind closed doors and not showing you what them doing. We have to stand up as a people now and not the fake people them may attack me attack the real people them because the fake people them want to do a fake protest boy yeah, to make it look like them are stand up for Jamaica people and Jamaica people are gonna believe them and then we are gonna sell the soul by default. So me now stop call upon the ones them when me know for your facts so them know the truth. Richard Curry them and Buju them and, and Muta them and the whole of them, them know the truth about the real history of Jamaica and how Jamaica can unite for unite Africa as well. But them prefer and we over to the devil, the whole of them prefer and we over to the devil and we are saying none of you, none of you, none of you we are saying. Come together under God people, under God, a God alone. Jamaica for surrender to. It's not a joke thing I go on in our country. We're standing before God and the devil. Jamaica, whatever you do, please, 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 please do not sign off on this republic that the leaders, our leaders, are in a hurry to establish. First of all, Jamaica was always a republic. Jamaica was a budding colony. Jamaica was the place to live, raise, do business, have children. So what we're saying now is, bear with me come I can't Calculate how me talk, me have to talk, I can't hold the message forward. There's so much things happening in Jamaica this year, this 2023 year. See, I just want to point out some things I want to hide them, pay attention to. Pay attention to needs. See, pay attention to the new republic that the government is trying and pushing to establish. Right? Pay attention to the maroon community. I want to say this. It's a very delicate situation to talk about. And it bothers me every time when I have to go back to it. But I have to keep on talking about it. Because the problem of Jamaica rests within the maroon community. And how we as a people are going to collectively come together and unite around saving Jamaica that no more Jamaicans not dead. There is such a thing as Jamaican people and there is such a thing as Jamaican people being suppressed and killed out in every way, any way possible, simply because they 
are the true inheritance of this island, Jamaica, which is not just a slave plantation. Jamaica is not a slave plantation. Jamaica is the doorway to God. See? And so there is a big rush. There is a big rush to turn Jamaica into the new headquarters of L. So pay attention to needs. Pay attention to the new republic where they try farm. Pay attention to the maroon community. See, me still a call pan Buju, I still a call pan Curry, I still a call pan Kabu, I still a call pan Muta, I still a call pan Bird Samuels, I still a call pan all of these stalwarts who know the truth, who know the story of Jamaica, who can break it down to the young populace so that them can understand the greatness where we are about to lose as a nation of people who even Africa is depending on right now. Go and take it for joke and go and take it for foolishness and watch the outcome. Why TikTok me have to turn the phone upside down for do this one now? Me can't take it no more. Like, me know someone who must know the Dalai Lama. Who don't know the Dalai Lama, don't. It's a brother who inspire me, you know. <laughs> no, me can't take no the phone and ask, like. It's a brother who inspire me, like, on a serious note, you know. If the Dalai Lama, I do that. Where we fiddle? Who we have to look up to? Let me write a now. Mother's are going to walk around, look nice. Who we can help privately. Let me help them privately. I Dalai Lama that I tell the little boy for sucking tongue, you know. I'm mean, not saying no great alarm. You want them to say the new world is? A new world is where we live in our spiritual leader. Them can do as they like and then apologize and say something. Always I do. Are you serious? But I want to say to me, people, them will love when me do those protect the children, them here. And most people were famous are broken people, them. Yeah, them broken. And them now fix themselves personally, them now go in on them life and look for the things them where them are do and really check and know say all of we have a personal responsibility for the actions that we choose to take in our life. Whether by commission or omission. It's what I say. When I see the video with the Dalai Lama, like I say, the Dalai Lama, do. Like, seriously, like, where does, when does this end, you know? Anyway, just go and work out and take care of the little one body, but you know, I can't one, you know. <laughs> Protect on the children, them. You hear me? I tell you, know? Protect on the children, them. We in our world we not have no light. We in our world where people willing to do any blood clotting for boss, for popular. It's all wrong, man. I'm sorry for the poor little boy and his family. You know what I mean? Come on, some of them over here, I go on TikTok with the names. See them sitting there, you know, those over here, quarrel, you know, and then I just make TikTok look like this big old marketplace, you know. Who don't know what the Dalai Lama do to the little boy? Nobody knows see that. Nobody knows see that. Nobody knows see that. The Dalai Lama do to the little boy. Hey, me lose our fight, Dalai Lama star. Dalai Lama can't give me no more advice. Me don't want to die and talk to me. <laughs> Joke. Protect my family, then. You hear that? And all my... I've always been charged. Great, great, great. Amazing morning. This video, you know, is for... No, if it is more prevalent in black women... The people who... who take my video and put it up on them platforms some little wolf in a sheep clothing where I pretend to be Rasta and lying and I call themselves vlogger and blogger we no worry about you no for real in a real life I don't know start a heart attack yet because the truth no really start flow out our mouth yet because we are go by the directives of the ancestors and the almighty creator who create all of it 
at many many years now me in a music business and from me coming a music business me no shift my meditation when it comes to defending this country our we name jamaica so if you don't feel like you don't like a mountain or you don't like a something them these videos are not for you guys because we know who you are already we know so no wicked we know so no on board with the system to sell out jamaica people so we know so these videos are very disturbing for you know get over your goddamn self and go look if you really influence people the way or you should as a matter of fact go influence your fucking self first <laughs> Before you can call yourself influencer, see, there's a truth about this country where no found no know and who no want it to go away, and everybody just move on, hunky dory, happily ever after. It not gonna work because the truth will live forever in the hearts of those who it matter to. So, if it's even the generation where I will come after, we gone, the truth I will still mention why you have such an issue with it. Why you want to prove whether or not Queen Africa a labor right or PNP? Me a Jamaican. Right now, me not even a Rasta. Me a Jamaican. Me is a black woman who love my culture, love my country, and love what it mean for over say the system flawed. And them need to do better. See? So, this is just to encourage the ones who know where Queen Africa are doing a music. This is not a personal mission. This is not a one-woman band. Me just a wait for the rest of sleeping Rasta man them to wake up and come join forward. Them teach we the struggle and let it give we gone. See? You know, I'm blown yourself, man, and come to the truth. These videos will always be coming up as long as they're not banned TikTok and we have Wi-Fi. So I don't know how no, I got deal with it. I don't know see not yet. Just know that. You see what I say? A looter continue. So here we are going you now. And I really Andrew Oldness. Then we need to worry about really and truly, you know. Eat listen before you start thumping me down. Right? Andrew decides say he might go be the brave one. Where I go do all the things where the gatekeepers them did always start up in other way for you know like for instance land rights like for instance human rights you know certain things where you know would have bat for Andrew the one where I say me with we give me the job right fine who we need to worry about is the next government we are gonna farm after Andrew them. Because that is where the danger lies. So PNP government, see? PNP government have a serious cleanup for going with right now. Mark Golden, the cleanup where you have to do over PNP and our normal cleanup. Because first of all, in order for the new world order established, it have to establish from somewhere. And Jamaica is the place of choice. For the new world order established from, but for right now, it depends past because Jamaica people have such a diversity that them can't understand how we can get no footing in a Jamaica. What are you talking about? All right. So we are talking about the funny laws that them want to pass. So if you notice now the new constitution where they might change up the constitution of Jamaica, they mean this big rush to change up the constitution of Jamaica. They mean this big rush to turn Jamaica into a republic. They mean this big rush to maroon them in this big rush to unite together. Because them see what out for go on and see say the sovereign rights, so-called sovereign rights that them have, is about to be kicked to the curb. Because as Jamaicans, we are one of the strongest indigenous people in the whole entire world. And it's about for sure now, stronger than ever, because somehow we decide, so we now just give away rights just like that. So henceforth, the next government we are going to farm in Jamaica have to be a government. We are going to make sure say, it's going to cover all of those things and don't leave no Jamaican behind. Who is the government that is going to do that? Because the Jamaicans that they thought were all dead and were all forgotten and so done so that they don't know who they are. The DNA rights is now seeping out and they are realizing that this thing can't go ahead because we're in a trouble. So Jamaican people do not be in a hurry right now to vote for nobody at all until them can declare 
what are the true intentions for this country moving forward? Seeing? It's a lot me just say a while ago, you know. But me say it that way there because me no want to say it the other way. Seeing? Open up with eyes, Jamaican people, we're doing great so far. TVJ and the Gleaner Company and Lisa Anna Archibald Garden and Milton Walker. I carry a serious little pain in my heart. Way. I you know, to pay no mind because I look on the bigger picture and I like to be sure. I just want to say, Jamaica deserves more than one I try to promote. You see what I say? Yeah. I just want to say to everyone where I see them videos there where I put up, and those who know I love you guys so much for knowing what we're talking about. Those who kind of have an idea but you know, not so sure, don't worry yourself. All of these videos that you see me put up will be explained at the right and proper time. You see what I say? Because I don't know say I don't care this, this I do. You see what I say? And the next thing I want to do too is take it serious and save some of them videos here. Because it's not impossible for TikTok to get banned and we don't have no medium where we can talk to to the item. You see what I say? The item have to know that for real, say. The world has shift, the world has change, the world has get different, the world has tell people, say, them want to decide where you say, how you say it, when you say it, who you say it to, all of these things are happening. You know what I mean? So, me serious about this country, Jamaica, where me live in her. And by extension, the bigger house, Africa. Seeing? And we see where I go on. We over it. We don't need to join a big army if you see it. Because if you love something, you got to look on and make sure say it a deal with how you don't want it to deal with. Because you love it. Not true. Right. So, I really that I go on with me personally. I just want to say, Tanya Stevens, you know, say, I love you in a private, and you know, say, I love you in a public. I just want to say this to you, my babes. Make sure, say, a desperation, you end up spying P out of, and I don't know no other reason than that. Because I remember when you look around for places, for end us in some of the new parties, them where they show up them head, but to corruption is if you take root in a Jamaica. Things get shady and me say you shift round and now me say I say you go go on in the ass, Mr. Golden. So, me not tell you what you do because you're your own big woman and you're your own superstar and the whole way I fight for the same people for different reasons, same reasons, but collectively we all mean good. See? And the call really right now is whichever government I go come in after them nigga you come out. See? I forgot be the ultimate government of all government where I got deal with the people once and for all. How if you have thousands of people and run where and I run through border, I kill half themselves. All the things them. We not talk about them something no more. We are talking directly to the problem, to the people who are cause the problem now. So we not endorse no bumbo clad body until then can tell me where them are do for jamaica because none of them not do nothing for jamaica all now that we are saying we not have stop say so you see what i say so big up tanya we love you but me i watch it one last thing for today to the jlp and pnp loyalists the pnp and jlp members the ones who actually vote <laughs> you know the, you guys need to know says this election that is coming up is going to be the last time that you guys are going to be voting in whoever you want to and we have to deal with it no matter what this are the last election where on a loyalty i go mean anything 
to either PNP or JLP. Because when Dongyer become the Republic, it are gonna be one big whole house and one somebody, one set of somebody, I go call the shots. So on a little five thousand dollar vote, them are on a little t shirt, on a little goodies them. We we'll now get to no better save them now because they now go help you know, when Jamaica turn republic. You hear that? Everything I go under one umbrella. So the PNP member and the, the GLP member and the loyalist to PNP and the loyalist to GLP will be no more. Me never vote for the day me born yet. Me never endorse no government yet. Andrew Olness 2019. Me beg him. Say please not do this to Jamaica people. Because Jamaica people like you. Them like you because you did say free education at a time when nobody never either say it. And poor people was like, yes, yeah man, you did in a GLP, but you never mix up that are Andrew Olness. He never to mix up in a whole heap of corruption when I go on in a GLP and Jamaica people because of the same change we are look for from when never did have a problem with voting in based on how good he did as an education minister. So them only use goodness to get where them want. And as soon as them get it, them show you where them really up to. And that is why we are say, if the lawyer list them to PNP and GLP could have really just come together and join with the populace where suffer after Uno give Uno vote to them. We have to deal with the mess where them come with. If Uno just come together and say, boy, yeah, me no man. We love Uno, you know, but this time around to how things look, this is how we are going to want. You can imagine how Jamaica would have become so united and they would have to be busy. I give you what we want as a people, do but make we see because i come it a come and i go it a go you see me yeah man me just did want to say that make good morning good morning or afternoon or good night depending on wherever you are in the world at this moment today is 4 20 you know the marijuana smokers them having a ball today yeah especially here in jamaica where we have so much ganja, you know, all type of tree and all type of ganja. So I just want to say to my marijuana smokers, especially young people, because we really don't promote smoking, but we do promote the use of marijuana still, because smoking is not good for you. You see what I'm saying? But we want to talk to the young youths, them, you know, we are born up the whole heap of different tree and them, and the whole heap of different kush and the whole heap of different foreign style weed. I born weed from me about 11 year old. Smoking does not. It's not good for your health, kids. So I'm not saying it to be boastful. It's just what it is. But I want to kill this this boat, Rasta House. You can't burn weed as a picnic from all two. But I just want to say to young people, so be careful of the herb them where they hide them and smoke, you know, because them turn herb into drugs, you know. And so I say, and we see a lot of dispensaries going up in Jamaica and we're just hoping that is really clean sourced marijuana. Really, you know, no chemical, no brain shift, none of them kind of little alteration that we see are going with everything in the world right now. Marijuana can do so many millions of different things marijuana can do. Marijuana can make clothes, marijuana can cook, marijuana can, you know what I mean? using your ear marrow enough things for your eye health there's a lot of stuff you can research medical uses of marijuana and you'll find so many stuff about herb but me just want to say to jamaican young people say don't make them use the item as no guinea pig you know make sure so you ask questions about the herbs that you're smoking and putting and consuming in your body stop on tobacco tobacco is like the whistler for the ganja them with them have right now. You see man say tobacco is no way, shape or form good for your health. Seeing? So try not to burn your herb with no tobacco in it. No form of tobacco, no beading, no form of alteration. Clean source, clean marijuana, medicinal herbs. You know what I mean? So go on full joy the 420 and just know say ganja is medicine. So if you don't feel like 
you did something good to yourself when you use it, check the source of it. See? Yeah, man. Much love and respect and manners. A looter continue the fire, just blood clot ketchup. Ooh, ooh, wake up.